In this video, we'll take a look at how to navigate through the Snapseed interface. Now, I've went ahead and launched Snapseed already. From here, we need to open an image to edit. We've got three different options for opening images here. Uh, you can go up to File, click on Open, and your Finder will launch where you can open up your images. You can actually drag a photo into the interface from a folder or maybe your desktop. And you can also click on this center button here within the interface of our main screen. When you click on that, your Finder will launch. We can open up the image we wish to edit. And then from there, we use the tools on the left-hand side to make our enhancements. Now, you've got your basic adjustment, your tune image, crop and straighten, details for sharpening and adding in detail with structure. And then you also have your creative adjustments here on the left-hand side of the interface. We'll take a look at all this stuff, or very quickly delve into some of it. Now, we want to enhance the texture within the image and bring out some more detail. And then we're going to create a, a vintage sort of feel to the photo. And we'll do this, again, using our Snapseed tools. We'll start with our detail. As we click on a lot of our different tools, you're going to see a whole set of presets. And actually, within the detail section, you've got a sharp preset, sharper, structure, and detail. Uh, and what these are going to do is actually apply different settings to our image within the detail section. Now, the structure is going to add in this great texture to the photograph. And actually, Structure Plus right here is doing a great job of giving us that sort of look. Now, with that, we could even go in and fine-tune and tweak. So if we wanted to increase the sharpness a little bit, or we wanted to uh, redirect the structure, maybe dial it down just a touch, you could, of course, do that with your adjustment sliders. To see a before and after, you move into the Compare button in the upper left-hand corner of your image interface, and click and hold the Compare button to see the before. And when you let go, you'll see the after, the enhanced image. And as you can see, our enhanced image with this great detail that we're accentuating. Now, if we like our effect, we click the Apply button in the lower left-hand corner of the interface. And that's going to bring us back to our home screen. And we're going to be able to go on with the rest of our tools. If we decide we don't want to use this tool, our details, you can click Cancel in the lower left-hand corner. And that's going to bring us back to our home screen without applying this effect. Now, we do want to apply the effect, so click Apply. That's going to process out the image, and it's going to bring us back over into our home screen. Once we do that, we can access all of our creative adjustments uh, as well as our basic adjustments. Now, for our image here, I'm going to scroll down, click on Vintage, and as we launch Vintage, you'll notice you've got a set of presets up there. looks very similar to what our Detail section did. Uh, and then you also have Styles, and you can affect the textures. So not only do you have these great presets, and you can just click on each one to get different results, uh, but you can actually change your style as well, which is going to be sort of the color overlay and the contrast. There's nine of them in there. And then you also have your textures. And there's actually four different textures built into the vintage effect, the vintage tool. But these are your four basic textures. And what I mean by this is you can go in and click on a texture to get a specific look or feel, but then you can actually keep clicking on that same texture, and what it's going to do is change how that specific texture sh sort of shows up. It's going to randomize uh, how the texture looks. In fact, let's go down to number four. Keep clicking. We've got this very subtle little texture. Uh, once we've got the effect how we want it, we click back into our uh, vintage tool here, and then you can control all the other attributes of the image. So we can bring down the texture, you know, affect saturation, and so on. You can even change the style strength. So if we wanted to add more of that vintage effect and look, uh, we can bring it up, and so on. Now again, let's take a quick look at our before and after. There's the before, and there's the after. We're kind of muting these colors and creating this great vintage effect and look. But let's say we wanted to zoom in and see what the image looked like. Well, you can use the tool in the upper right-hand corner of the interface, your Zoom In button. That's going to zoom you into 100% by default. And you can also even change uh, the zoom percentage by clicking on your 50, 100, you know, 25, or 300 percent zoom ratios there. Now, I wanted to zoom in because I want to show you that compare button. Moving back into the upper left hand corner and clicking that compare button now, you're going to see the original image. As we let go, you see the enhanced image, and you can start to see that texture in the way that the contrast is being affected uh, with our vintage effect. When we want to zoom back out, we can either click on the little X in the navigator, or you can hit the space bar on your keyboard to zoom back out to your full screen view. 
I really like the effect that we're getting. We're really starting to roll with our image. Let's go ahead and click the Apply button, apply this, and we'll finish off with one more of our creative adjustments, our frames. Clicking into the frames, again, the interface brings us over into that tool. Uh, we can actually shuffle through our different frames. This is going to give us a completely different look, changing up what type of edge we're getting, as well as all of the different adjustment sliders for our frames. Now let's go in and change our type. And actually what you'll notice is that when you use a different type, it's going to be similar to your textures in that you choose one of ten basic types, but if you keep clicking on that specific type, you're going to change the nooks and crannies. You're going to change the way that this frame shows up. Now with that, I don't want to encroach so far into the image, so we'll dial this back out. Let's take a quick look at our before and after. There's the before. There's the after. Uh, when we're all done, of course, we can actually click the Apply button in the lower right-hand corner of the interface. It brings us back into our home screen, and it's as simple as that. Now within just a couple minutes, we've created a, a much more interesting and impactful photograph uh, with this cool vintage feel, this great edge, and a little bit more texture with the sharpening and the detail section. When we're all done with our photo, we can move into the upper right hand corner of the interface. Uh, we can print the photo by clicking the print button. We can actually share the image either to Flickr or Facebook or emailing. And you can actually save your image uh, into your hard drive or onto your computer somewhere uh, by clicking the Save button in the upper right hand corner as well. But that's Snapseed's interface. Thanks a lot for joining me.